Hi, I'm Kausup Khare and I'm an Asian medalist in kayaking and canoeing. In 2013, I represented India at the Asian Sea Kayaking Championship where I finished fifth. And in 2012, I was part of the Asian Dragon Boat Championship where I won two silver medals and one bronze medal. I started kayaking six years back when a chance occurrence took me to South Goa where a friend of mine and I where I took a kayak out about two kilometers into the sea, not knowing anything about the consequences, not knowing anything about the winds, the waves, how it affects you in general. And we fell in love with the experience. So the first attempt was when we were trying to spot dolphins in uh, Palulim. And after that, I've just been chasing the water ever since. The idea about kayaking from Bombay to Goa started off as a pilot project to kayaking around the whole of the Indian coastline. Uh, I know of a bunch of kayakers who are doing this abroad in uh, Australia and in Europe who, who circumnavigate their respective continents and, uh, and I thought why not do this in India because we have a 7,500 kilometer coastline that is virtually untouched and no kayaker has ever done this. Uh, the second main idea behind why I'd want to do something like this was the fact that kayaking in India has still not uh, been recognized as a mainstream sport and the more publicity that people in the sport get, the more we can focus on the issues uh, at the grassroots level. So I think the, the reaction of my parents when I first came up with this idea was, were pretty phenomenal. Uh, the first time that I discussed something like this with Dad, he flat out just said that, yeah, fair enough, we'll plop the kayak on the car, I'll drive with you, you kayak as much as you want, and then every day we'll just take it as we go. I was scared, because we are land people, sea is new to us, but Kaustov as it is his hobby and he's sort of obsessed with this kayaking business, I was really scared. But we decided to go ahead and stand behind. My mom's reaction to it was, was rather good fun because at the time uh, my boss hinted at moving me up the ranks and uh, though I was feeling good about it, um, it could have possibly hampered me taking a sabbatical. See, the first thought I had is this is most probably a passing fancy. So let it come and go as it comes. And I will either not uh, encourage it or not discourage it and see how it develops. I will, but secretly I hoped it was just a passing fancy it, and he would really not take up something like that because I was quite nervous about the whole thing. So when Kostov actually broke the news of uh, saying that he would be doing this, it was it didn't come as a surprise. It was more like, I mean, yeah, this is it. I mean, this is... I knew this was on his mind for quite some time. So it was, uh, the shock of it was more into, okay, how are you going to do this? More concerns, basically questions that would uh, go to kind of ask, how would you do this? How would your training be? How would your scheduling be? So why Mumbai to Goa was uh, quite simply because Goa was where I started kayaking from. And I wanted people to uh, embrace the fact that it could be done. So that later when I set out on the whole uh, India trip, okay, I can I can beef it up a lot, lot more. To start off with, um, I had to figure out what what vessel I had to uh, embark upon. So I chose to go with a kayak that Freya Hofmeister had used for her uh, circumnavigation, and uh, I went with an Epic 18X. 